okay class today's topic is displaying list in react okay so list are very useful when it comes to developing a ui of the list are mainly used for displaying menus in the website for example navbar etc in the regular javascript we can use array for creating our list and we can create the list in react in the same manner that we use in javascript now we can use jsx when we want to display the list using the javascript built in function that is array dot map now we use list in order to display the data in our application because generally the entire data in your application will be in the form of json array and in order to iterate the array we use array dot map function let's talk about how to display the array in application okay now i'll take a simple example with the array first and we will display the array of objects and display their data okay now let's see how it can be done now first of all let's create a component named display data okay so i just use the data dot is now let's create this with the functional component okay now in this i'm going to start with the basic array that is having the values 5 10 15 20 and 25 now i just want to display the, this data in the form of list okay and for this i'm going to use a function called array dot map so map function basically i treat the array it create a new array when it's iterating the elements so once it's iterate at the same time it's use it iterate that element and put into a new array okay so for that i'm using const and creating the new array that will show that will store the iterated element okay now in this array dot map function let's create an anonymous function that will take an argument and return a list okay and i'm going to process our array that will generally that will take multiplication of every element of the array and that that is num into 2 okay now once the first element i trade it will be multiplied by 2 and stored into the new array then it will go to the next index multiply by 2 and stored into the new array so every time when the array is iterate it will create a new element for the new array okay now let's let's display the new array into our div okay for that i'm going to create an unordered list and here i'm just calling new array okay now let's save the code and copy this component and display into this app.js okay now let's import this now save the code let's go to our application and refresh the screen okay now see all the elements of the array will be displayed as a multiple multiple of two okay now now let's discuss some more thing, one more thing here then we I trade our array give me a warning that each child in the list should have a unique key property and I'm using this key, pop key property in the in the following example okay but first of all let's look at the code of data. here I'm creating a new array that will store the iterated element of this array okay now let's reduce the code okay now there is Whenever the array is iterate, we can directly show them instead of creating the new array. Okay, now let's reduce this code. Okay, now I'm just deleting this code and here, and I'm just uh, go there. Okay, removing this code also. Okay, now here in this, uh, I'm going to use an order list, and in an order list, here. I'm going to directly write array dot map function and instead of calling anonymous function let's call the arrow function and in this I'm passing the num and here 
creating a arrow function and here I'm just returning returning the ally and here I'm just passing num in okay now this time I'm just uh, just uh, writing the num I'm not uh, multiplying this array by two. okay now this is a very shortest way of uh, using the array dot map function because here I'm not storing that data into the new array I'm directly iterate and display that data into the list okay now let's save the code and see the changes now just refresh the code now you will see the, the, uh, the array is again creating a list okay now this is the shortest method here you will you will also remove these things now, because this is a single ally you don't need to write brackets and there is also no need to write the return statement okay only uh, okay let's remove this one also okay just keep this yeah and yeah, i'm going to remove this one too okay now i'm just saving the code it automatically reduced now okay so you can also write uh, you can you can also make your code more smaller okay there is a num because it, it is an argument it will return this ally so there is no need to write the return statement as well as the brackets you can write this but once you save the code it will automatically format because um, here i'm using an auto save format that will make this code save when it's become uh, save okay when it's it's format it automatically formats okay now let's see uh, this is the same code okay now see okay. it's the same thing Okay, now now I am going to use array of objects in order to create a list. Okay, I just want that the entire array of objects could should be displayed onto the screen. Okay, and for that let's let's uh, get the data get the data from the uh, form element. Okay, I am just copy, go there and just copy this entire array. Okay, now I will go into this in place of this. Okay, now this is an array of objects, and our main motive is to display this data. Okay, now how we can do this? For that, again, this is an array, and we can also we can use the map function in order to display the entire array. Okay, and again, I'm using that array dot map function, but not like that. Okay. And I'm storing the entire data in the form of table. Okay, so let's remove this. And here I'm just called the table tag. In the table tag, I will use to display the data. Here I'm using array dot map function. But now let's call that uh, returns part of map into a separate function. Okay, now I'm just calling the function here that is show data. Now let's create this function. Okay, that will display the data and return the data in the form of rows and columns. Okay, now let's go there and const create this function. And I'm calling, I'm creating this as an arrow function. Okay, now in this arrow function, I'm passing num comma index. Now what is in this index? So in the previous example, okay. There's a there's an error message. You will see on that part that every each child in the list should have a unique key. So this key will be used as an index. Okay, and I'm using this key uh, property. Okay, in the coming example. Okay, see. So this is an index, and I'm using this index as a key. Okay. Now this mm, function return data, and I'm just getting this data and returning as a new PR. Now I'm using key equals to here this warning will be now removed. Okay now in the index in the PR I'm going to create a new table and here I'm also using this index for displaying the data. So I just write index plus one equals uh, first uh, index element having value zero so I'm just converting into the one. So I'm using this for displaying the data okay now let's 
create the next CD and here I'm just passing num dot whatever the uh, username. Okay, so num will be username. Now that next will be password and third will be email. That gonna be this is the the single PR that gonna be returned for each individual element. Okay, now I just display this tr in in this in this location so every time first map uh, function call it will iterate the first element then the second element the third fourth fifth and all the all, all those elements. okay now let's save the code and see the output now let's close this and let's refresh the screen okay now you will see the entire data all the five elements now display onto the screen Okay, now but it not look better. Now nah, it's not look better. So here I'm talking about Bootstrap. Now how to use Bootstrap with the React? Okay, now I am going to discuss that thing. For that there are there are number of different method of of using the Bootstrap. The simplest method is just use the CDN and put it into the index .htp. Now first of all, let us find out Bootstrap. I'm just go there. Bootstrap CDN. Okay, now this is the simplest way. I'm going there. Okay, I'm just copy this CDN file. Okay, let's talk about uh, this link tag. So I'm just copy this code and go to the application, find the index.html, and here I'm just pasting the code. Okay, this is the simplest way. Nah? This is the simplest way of using the bootstrap. Okay, now index uh, dot HTML where we will put our link tag. Now let's go to the bootstrap and find bootstrap table. Bootstrap table. Okay, so here's the bootstrap table. So let's copy the this tag entire and paste it in a display for it okay now so uh, that's gonna be pasted here so first of all let's remove the code i'm going to remove this extra tag and i will put all this into the t body okay now this is gonna be yeah it's gonna be not required table should be no this is gonna be not required. This is gonna be table. Okay. Now save the things. Now I'm going to replace the head element. That first will be your username. Okay. Second will be password. And third will be email ID. Okay. Email. So I just save the things. Okay. Now we this will be gonna happen. So now the bootstrap will work with the help of CDN. So I just save the code and see the changes in the application. Okay, now see the code, the tables look that like the bootstrap has been applied. Now let's make it class equals to container. I think now it will look better. Yes. Okay, but here I am using the CDN, but we are we have to work with react okay now cdn sometimes it may be happen that your network is not working okay at that time your cdn will not work so let's talk about the second method that is install the bootstrap into your react application okay now how we can do that okay for that just open your application and uh, uh, let's stop this application first okay Okay, now here we need to write install npm install. This is the command we require. So once you install it, okay, then just check in your package.json file. In the package.json file, because we have I have already installed, so here we'll see that the bootstrap will be installed. Okay, now how to use the bootstrap 
of bootstrap node modules into your react application for this first let remove the index dot in index dot html and remove this link code i have just added okay now okay, this this code i am going to remove this so in order to use uh, you have to use import double slash double slash cookie because you are bootstrap in the node modules now so you have to find bootstrap slash list slash css slash bootstrap bootstrap dot css now you have to write this because this css will help you to make bootstrap to be apply your on your elements okay now let's change the things okay because yeah i just want that header should be of different thing so just go to the header and just write class and the class will be table arc okay now let's see the changes yes it has been applied but one more thing i have just noticed that we are using bootstrap and all the bootstrap like let, let's talk about something else like components let's talk about card okay now here you will see that we in we we are have we have to use number of bits okay but we are talking about components okay now we cannot we cannot use bootstrap now we are going to use react bootstrap instead of bootstrap now how to use react bootstrap with your uh with your application for that just go to the google and find react click on the react bootstrap now click on the get started and here the first thing you have to install this and the way is the almost similar you have to use npm installed react bootstrap now what is the difference between a normal bootstrap and the react bootstrap now in the react bootstrap you will see all your components are in the form of components see all our components let's talk about uh, menu or nav bar see everything the letter first letter is capital it means this is a component it's not a this is not a combination of tips like let's talk about buttons now see here we use button class we use button component and instead of class name we use variable okay so these are react bootstrap components okay now let's change the bootstrap okay here i have to use table okay now let's change the things now nah, let's change according to the table okay let's go to the table and i just replace the first guy so i just copy this and paste it here okay now it will be automatically replaced because i also use another extension that is auto close tag so once i change the code in the first part it will automatically change in the second okay now see this is a now now i think it will work but still let's save the code but it will not work see let's run the application refresh now there will be an error error yes table is not defined because now we are using react bootstrap and in the react bootstrap every element in, is in the form of component now table is also a component so we need to import this component in order to use this component okay for this let move to the the upper section and here i use import table and from react bootstrap now your component will work i'm just saving the things and see now, now see this is an hover because i have also used that hover class in that table okay now see it's working now, now how just how, i'll just add some more components in order to uh, think about some more things let's add button also okay now i'm going to here i'm just adding button class button component okay now 
here we use this and we use variant in place of class and the variant is I just write primary now see the bottom is created here I'm just writing react bootstrap button okay now because react bootstrap also uh, installed bootstrap the, the, the normal bootstrap will also work okay so i'm going to create another button and here i'll just write uh, normal bootstrap okay. and here i'm just writing class name equals to primary okay uh, and it should be a button now btn btn primary okay let's add some br okay let's save the code and see the changes again it will give me an error that button should also define now okay so i just copy this and go there and here i should play. because this is also a component i'm just saving the code here now the code will work now this is a normal button okay this will not work why okay variant equals okay yeah this is the p should be small now p should be small okay, now i think it will work, yes, it will work now so this is a react bootstrap button and this is a normal bootstrap. so see both are almost similar both are almost similar but this is a component and this is a button this is the main difference between these things. so now instead of using bootstrap we are we can either use react bootstrap normal bootstrap or we can use bootstrap with the serial link so i just show you shown you the three kinds of three methods of using bootstrap in order to display your data okay class that's all about display data with bootstrap thank you bye bye take care